Imagine that the following matrices are all invertible matrices of the same size, and the objective is to isolate matrix A. Well, this means if we are to isolate matrix A from this equality, we have to cancel matrices ED from the left and C inverse B from the right. And of course, to cancel a matrix, this can be accomplished by multiplying by its corresponding inverse. So let's start with canceling matrices ED from the left, right? As long as you have an equality and you do the same thing on both sides, you will preserve the equality. So to cancel matrix E, we have to multiply by E inverse both sides from the left. So let's multiply by E inverse each side of the equality. And again, we have to be careful that we are multiplying both sides coming in from the left by E inverse. We know that E inverse times E is of course equal to I. Whenever you multiply a matrix by its inverse, the result cancels to the identity matrix. And here's where you can skip the following step. We know that I times D for any matrix D will be equal to D itself. So we can already simplify this times D is I times D, which is simply D. So we're left with now D A C inverse B is equal to E inverse F. And you can see we've now eliminated matrix E from the left hand side. We're a little closer to isolating A. Let's repeat. To cancel matrix D, just as we did for E, multiply both sides of the equality on the left with D inverse. So we have D inverse d a c inverse b and again we are multiplying from the left will equal d inverse times e inverse f again as before if you multiply a matrix in this case d by its inverse the inverse the result cancels to i and now what you have here is i times a but for any matrix a i times a is a so we are left with on the left a c inverse b equals d inverse e inverse f. So now we've fully canceled everything on the left hand side of matrix A. We now repeat and cancel the right hand side of matrix A. And because these matrices are on the right of A, to cancel them we have to come in on both sides of the equality multiplying in from the right. Well, the first matrix we encounter is matrix B. To cancel matrix B, we multiply on the right of both sides by B inverse. So we will have A C inverse B, multiply on the right by B inverse, and again, multiply on each side from the right. So we multiply now this side also coming in from the right by B inverse. Again, B times B inverse cancels to I. Any matrix, in this case C inverse times I, is itself. So on the left, we are now left with A C inverse equals the right hand side. And finally, to isolate A, we have to cancel C inverse. Well, the inverse of C inverse, of course, is C, right? What matrix multiplied by C inverse will cancel to the identity, matrix C, and we once again have to cancel this matrix from the right side of A, so we multiply on each side of the equality by matrix C. So on the left we get A C inverse multiplying from the right by matrix C, and we of course do the exact same thing on the right hand side, multiplying from the right by the same matrix C, so as to preserve the equality. And C inverse times C, of course, cancels to I. A times I is A. And so we have finally isolated matrix A as D inverse, E inverse F, B inverse C. And that's it. So if you want to cancel a, an invertible matrix, the cancellation occurs by multiplying the matrix by its inverse. 
If a matrix is on the left, to cancel it, you have to multiply by the inverse coming in from the left. If a matrix is on the right, to cancel it, you multiply by its inverse, but coming in from the right. And that's it.